Buckthorn was first brought to Minnesota from Europe in the mid-1800s as a very popular hedging material. Shortly after its introduction here, it was found to be quite invasive in natural areas. The nursery industry stopped selling it in the 1930s, but many buckthorn hedges may still be found in older neighborhoods in Minnesota. Buckthorn is a problem because it outcompetes native plants for nutrients, light, and moisture. It degrades wildlife habitat, it threatens the future of forests, wetlands, prairies, and other natural habitats. It contributes to erosion by shading out other plants that grow on the forest floor, and serves as host to other pests such as crown rust fungus and soybean aphid. Buckthorn forms an impenetrable layer of vegetation and lacks natural controls like insects or disease that would curb its growth. European or common buckthorn and glossy or alder buckthorn are listed as restricted noxious weeds in Minnesota and it is illegal to import, sell, or transport buckthorn in Minnesota. When buckthorn is left unchecked, it chokes out native plants and threatens the future of Minnesota's natural environment. Proper removal of buckthorn can restore Minnesota's natural beauty. How do you know if you have buckthorn on your property? Common buckthorn leaves are egg-shaped, hairless, elliptical leaves that are pointed at the tip and have smooth, dark, glossy, and fine-toothed edges. Common buckthorn remains green well into late fall. Buckthorn flowers are typically four-petaled, yellow-green in color, and are found in two to eight small clusters. They are most noticeable in May and June. Buds and leaves are mostly opposite. The twigs of common buckthorn often end in sharp terminal spurs, spines, or thorns. Female trees have large dense clusters of black 1 quarter to 3 8 inch fruit. These ripen in August and September, but can remain on the branches until March. Common buckthorn can reach a maximum height of 20 to 25 feet with a spreading irregular crown. Common buckthorn has gray-brown, flaky, rough bark with elongated silvery cork-like projections, and when cut it exposes yellow sapwood and orange heartwood. This video demonstrates how to remove buckthorn from your property. If you choose to use chemicals to kill buckthorn, rather than digging out the roots, hire an experienced company or buy an approved chemical eradicator to do it yourself. Make sure you wear gloves while applying the chemical to the stumps. Shortly after cutting down the tree, do this. This will kill the remaining roots to stop suckering. In about three years, the roots will be rotted, leaving room for native trees and shrubs. Herbaceous plants will spring up almost immediately when the area is cleared. Jack in the pulpit and bloodroot are common in our woodlands in spring. When finished, store your chemicals in gloves in a safe area if you are doing the work yourself. The city has an ongoing plan for buckthorn eradication and is working on removing buckthorn from public lands. Please help protect Minnesota's natural resources and remove buckthorn from your property. For more information on buckthorn removal, please visit the North Mankato website at www dot northmankato dot com slash city of north mankato slash buckthorn